This is the best offense using Madden 24 post patch. Do it. it has explosive run plays. Run. Oh my God! Glitch routes all over the field. And multiple one-play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> so if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, <laughs> stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. In today's gameplay, I'll once again be using my Philadelphia Eagles, but since they lost yesterday and that kind of has me bummed out, expect to see some new teams in my gameplays pretty soon. I still have to work through some of the old footage that I already have recorded, but let me know in the comment section what teams you guys want me to use in future videos. And if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and leave me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and i appreciate the support the offense i'll be focusing on in today's video is the i form close as this might be the best running formation in the game and has been for many years but prior to the october 4th patch running wasn't as effective due to the read and react adaptive ai feature that ea added to madden 24 which basically means that defenses would start to react better to run plays that would run more than one time until the recent october patch notes however as they clearly saw it was destroying online players ability to run the football so they changed it so that it will only work when the defense called has the same amount of defensive linemen and linebackers as the offense has linemen and tight ends and since the most popular defenses in the game are all nickel packages i'm going to use an offense with a larger base personnel in the eye from close which has five linemen and two tight ends with one of them at the fullback position now if you really like to run the ball you could run from a three tight end set all game with a single back wing pair because there aren't a lot of defenses that have a total of eight linebackers and eight defensive linemen on the field but i still want to be able to create explosive passing plays which is why i use this formation and the audible plays are going to reflect that my first audible play is the double outs as these speed out routes on both sides can beat any defense in the game other than cover two zone my next auto play is the pa tight end leak which is going to be my one play touchdown play as this play can score against every defense in the game in multiple different ways hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to make a practice mode style video breaking down all of the different setups the last play is the pa deep cross go because it can beat any man or zone over the middle of the field my last audible slot I saved for my inside run play. Since this formation only has four different run plays, I will be constantly switching run plays to try to avoid activating the adaptive AI. So in this slot, I will constantly be switching between the zone weak and the halfback ISO, as they're both inside runs and that's all that really matters. The best run play in this formation and my fifth play is going to be the halfback stretch. But if I run the halfback stretch and I'm concerned with the adaptive AI, I will switch to the halfback toss on the next play, as the goal is to never run the same two run plays two times in a row so that the AI doesn't pick it up. On the first play, he's already in a nickel package in what looks like the double mug meaning he only has six linemen and linebackers on the field so since i have seven linemen and tight ends the read and react ai is turned off and since most people like to stay in nickel or smaller all game i am rarely going to run into a defense that has the ai even turned on for them so now I just have to find a weak spot in the defense. To do this, we're looking for two different things on every single play, inside gaps or outside leverage, which is defined by any area where my tackle or tight end is wider than their outside linebacker or outside defensive end. On the first play, I really don't have either, but there is another read, and that is the second level linebackers, which this defense doesn't have any. So that means that if I can get through the first level, there's nothing behind it until I get to the safeties. So I switch to my inside run in the zone weak before he shifts his linebackers and opens up a big hole right over the middle, giving me a a much more obvious target to run through so i flip the run play with the right stick and start the game off with an eight yard run whenever i see that i have a personnel advantage like this i like to call a hurry up and keep him in it only this time i'm going to motion across the wide receiver as i will use a lot of motions later in this scheme so i will always use a lot of fake motions so my opponent doesn't pick up on it later as they are required as part of the pass play as we fall just short of the first before I run a hurry up again to secure the first down. When I get back to the huddle, I switch to my inside run play to the halfback ISO, as I want to stay in the habit of mixing up my runs just in case my opponent does come out in a larger defense later. There are a lot of advantages to be had with motions in this formation. As I motion across the receiver one more time, I see the cornerback is following, letting me know that he is in a man coverage. So I run the stretch play knowing that these two receivers will run fake routes, pulling the cornerbacks in that area away without even having to block them. I call the toss play in the next run, but since he is still spread 
kind of wide in the middle. I switch to the halfback ISO and we get another first down. My opponent is already in cover for match to try to stop the run better. As most people know by now that it's the best run defense in the game since the safeties play the run faster than any other defense. So I decide to pass on the next play is this the path of least resistance. So I switch to the PA deep cross go. As all I have to do for this setup is put the A tight end on a five yard in route. And the X route will pull back all the zones allowing me three levels of passing underneath it. The running back really only beats zone but my other two options beat both man and zone. But I'll start the read from the running back and work my way backwards from there. If the running back is open underneath first I'll take it no questions asked. I switch inside run plays once again before the next play so that I can pick up the first over the middle before I decide to take a shot. He shuts down my stretch run on the next play to get me to a third and 10. Since I know I can make a field goal from here, I decide to take a shot since I'm already on the hash mark, which is important for this play to work. When I see that he has a single high safety, I know that my opponent is either in a cover three or a cover one. And since his quarterback isn't man aligned over the X receiver, I'm pretty sure it's a cover three. So I motion out the tight end and put him on a comeback route to hold the cornerback down and put the fullback on a wheel route to hold the safety towards the center of the field so that the X route can cross him. But if it turns out to be a cover one man, the fullback becomes the play. So I start by watching the fullback back only to see that it is his own Break yourself, fool. and the throw is tight due to the short field but we sneak it in there on defense i'm going to be using my big nickel over g scheme once again which is probably my favorite defense after the patch as well but i'm going to be focusing mostly on offense in today's video i already made a video about this defense though so if you guys want to see more i will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video i send the house on the first play to push him back and since that works so well i do it again on the next play but he has the perfect play dialed up for it as he flips the field with jamar chase on a deep crossing route to get inside the five before scoring just as quick to tie the game which is one of the reasons i'm using this offense the Bengals have one of the most explosive offenses in the game so my game plan is ball control offense and playing keep away so back on offense the goal is to kill the entire clock before scoring so i start to drive with a modest inside run for four which is really all i need to average to keep getting first downs before i run it inside again on the next play and almost break a big one to the house for another first down i try to mix it up and throw in the next play but it gets me with a cover zero blitz <laughs> So now that I need 22 yards, I decide to go back to the PA tight end leak one play touchdown once again. I'm not really sure what defense he's in here, but that's the beauty of this setup. As all I have to do is put the fullback on a wheel route, and either that or the post route is a big play against just about every single defense in the game. As I see he's in a cover one man this time... And if I were to put a fast running back at this spot, it would be even more deadly. From here, we go back to kill clock mode, but since he's in a small defense, <laughs> I'm going to call a hurry up to keep a minute and just take my time before hiking the ball. As we are now getting huge pancake blocks on his safeties, as we get another first down inside the 10. So I wait for the play clock to hit almost zero before I run the ball again, and now he starts calling his timeouts. Timeout! Before I wait for the clock to get to 10 seconds so that I can call a timeout, and now only I will have enough time to try and score. As I punch it on the ground to essentially end the half as I left him with only one second of offense after the kickoff. <laughs> He gets the ball in the second half though, so we have to get a stop at some point. On the first play of the drive though, we get a huge sack fumble, pushing it back to second and 21. And despite that result, he calls a hurry up to run it again, even though he has no real advantage by doing so. One of the best things about this ball control offense is that this guy really didn't have the ball more than a few plays the entire first half. And since he couldn't stop me on either of my possessions, all this usually will make players impatient. And that will usually result in them forcing deep throws downfield. As he throws it deep into a crowd of three defenders, and I get robbed of a nice user lurk. But the important thing is that we got the ball back in his territory. From here we go back to pounding the rock over the middle with inside runs as we almost score in the very next play before he pinches his defensive line to try and stop that. This is one of the easiest ways to tell if I should run inside or outside if your opponent pinches like this. Just run the stretch outside. I see that he has two defenders over my X receiver though, and he can only block one of them. So I try to motion across the B receiver to help block that guy, but once I see that he is pulling the cornerback across with him i hike the ball early so that cornerback is stuck in the middle of the field and now he is out of the play while my receiver is free to block the other cornerback in that area and i just walk in untouched due to another advantage from the motion now 21 7 my opponent has really only ran like seven plays the entire game he is now back to passing like he will never get the ball again but he only has five passes this entire game so far completing only two he tries to run the ball in the next play only to lose a yard <laughs> And now at 4th and 11, I call my favorite defense in the cover 6 trap. No soup for you. On offense, I'm already up 2 scores and almost in field goal range already, but time is the biggest issue, so I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. So I start my drive by running to get the clock moving, and I almost get my biggest run of the day to get over 100 yards for the contest. 
And the in-game stats are wild as I have tripled my opponent in yards, but it's really more to do with this offense rather than the defense, as we have outrushed him 108 to negative 7 yards at this point. And it took him all game, but he finally decides to match me on defense, as he now has 7 linemen and linebackers, meaning the adaptive AI is on and watching. I read cover 0 though, so I decide to take a shot, but I make a critical mistake during the setup, as I put the fullback on a check and release instead of the running back, as this safety here is assigned to the running back, and since the running back is on a pass block, that means this safety will turn into a deep zone and cut off the X receiver. Oops. But if I would have put him in a check and release, he would have covered the running back instead, and I would have had an easy touchdown. So I go back to running the stretch on the next play to get to the sideline, and since he's matching me, I decide to pass on the very next play. Since I'm already on a hash mark once again, I switch to the PA tight end leak and flip it so that I'm running it to the short side of the field, as all I have to do is streak the X receiver to pull back the deep zones in the area, and the tight end on the corner route will get wide open against any zone coverage. Back on defense, my opponent is in hurry up all passing mode now, but that's what the Bengals are made for anyways, as it looks like he is quiet quitting, Hi. but he also might know some sort of freeze glitch, as I declined his friendly quit, Fuck you! and now the game isn't starting back up, and I know that I've been waiting longer than 30 seconds. If this ever happens to you, either by mistake or if your opponent is trying to cheat you, just call a timeout from the menu screen and that will force you back into the game. And to make things even worse, he scores on the next play as the save takes a horrible angle, what the hell was that? But my plan is to not give the ball back at all as he comes out in another small package. So we go right back to pounding the rock and getting into the fourth quarter. And Swift is having a day. He switches back to matching defense on the next play in the 4-6 normal. So I will have to continue to make sure that I monitor switching these run plays. And now his defense is looking tired. I switch to the toss play on the next play so I can just run outside. But all that really matters is that we have two run plays inside and two that are outside. Other than that, it doesn't matter which one you choose. And that's all I'm really determining before I choose which run play. As they are both pretty much the same. As I switch back to the stretch on the next play, but he keeps pinching that D-line, so I keep running outside. The toss play, though, is less consistent, as the defenders can often shoot the gaps left by the pulling blockers. So on 3rd and 8, I decide to use another play that I haven't used yet in the double outs, as these speed out routes beat any defense except cover 2 zone. So when I see a single high safety, I know he'll get open no matter what, as we get inside the 2-minute warning with another first down. From here, we pound the rock inside to get down to the 1, before I go back to the stretch, only this time I motion across the B receiver, leaving no one out here to maintain the outside. And we walk it in on touch for another touchdown to take a three touchdown lead with only one minute left in the game. And we finally gave him the rage quit. Gotcha, bitch. But not before getting a pick six to run the score up to 42 14 to end the game. Do it. Now I know this scheme made this guy look like a bum, but he actually had a pretty respectable record. So give this offense a try and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Other than that, I'll have some videos about the defense I was using this gameplay popping up on screen. So just click the links if you want to know more. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.